So one of the side dishes everybody has when you have turkey is cranberry sauce. And most of the people, they take that little can and they have the canned cranberry sauce and people say, oh, I hate that stuff. It's so easy to make your own cranberry sauce. I'm gonna show you how to do that. What I'm gonna do here is a little bit different. We call it candied cranberries, or if you put some brandy in at the end, you can call it brandied cranberries. In any case, it'll be a big hit at the holiday dinner. take a bag of cranberries. Now here I have a double sized bag. Normally you don't need a double sized bag, just your standard 12 ounce bag of fresh cranberries will work. Okay. I'm going to use half of this bag because I don't need that much cranberry sauce. I'm eyeballing it here obviously. Yeah, that'll do it. Okay. Over this, you pour one cup of sugar. Now you lay them out flat. If you really want, you can put them on a cookie sheet and bake them on a cookie sheet, and then the cranberries will be more whole. I don't care so much about them being whole. They, they'll still be pretty whole anyway. Now you want to take this and put a little tent of aluminum foil over it because when you're baking these cranberries, they're going to pop and the popping will go all over the oven. If you don't want to have to spend hours and hours cleaning your oven afterwards, put a tent of aluminum foil over it. Don't tighten it. You don't want the steam to get caught because you want these things to get pretty hard relatively. And this will bake at the same temperature as your turkey. So you can put it in the same oven with your turkey. Just cook this for one hour and you'll be done. Okay, as you can see, the cranberries have been baking. They're pretty well cooked at this point. Now you can do one of two things at this point. You can just let them cool, at which point they'll be candied cranberries. Or another way to kind of spice them up a little bit, you put in about just a little under three quarters of a cup of brandy. Or what I did was I mixed a little bit of orange curacao in there. Or you can use Grand Marnier or Cointreau, some orange liqueur, along with the brandy. And then you basically Put a little alcohol in this thing. Let it evaporate with the heat. Let it cool down and you will have your brand new cranberry. Best cranberry sauce you'll ever have.